Everyone is building an AI SaaS product right now, but 98% of them will be dead in 18 months. So the question is how to tell which ones will survive and why. Hey, I'm Janu, I'm the founder of Featherflow and we build SaaS MVPs for established companies and startup founders, taking them from zero to one with strategy, design and development. So I've seen hundreds of product ideas this year alone and I've noticed a few patterns with AI products specifically. Every week I see another AI powered SaaS launch, but here's what I'm actually seeing. AIs for everything, AI recipe generators, AI habit trackers, AI note taking tools that do exactly what Apple Notes already does. So the big problem is there's no clear problem. They say we use GPT-4 to improve your workflow, but what workflow? What specific problem? So a lot of these tools are built by AI enthusiasts, nerds, tech experts, but not from industry experts. So the founders are excited about the technology, about AI, but they've never worked in the industry they are trying to disrupt. So what's the solution here? Let me give you a few examples. A friend of mine works for a logistics company and they built an AI, an AI product that predicts shipment delays. It's a little bit more complicated, but let's keep it simple here. So they know logistics. They are the experts and they understand the problem and the industry. So they built a product to solve their own problem with AI, but now they're not just using the product themselves, they are making great recurring revenue from licensing it. So other companies are using the product they built for themselves. Let me give you another example from my own company, Featherflow. A medical company from Florida approached us last year because they were spending hours and hours and a lot of money every day on manual data entry and Excel work for insurance claims processing. So it's a very specialized thing inside the industry. And we built them a proof of concept, like a POC, with AI automation. So they are using it for months now and they loved it so much that now we are turning it into a SaaS together. And they already sold it to other healthcare companies in their network. So this is a perfect partnership, right? They have the industry knowledge and all the connections and they know the industry, right? And we handle the tech. What can we learn from these examples? Industry expertise first, AI second. So they didn't start with, let's build something with AI. They started with this problem, this specific problem costs our industry millions and we know how to solve it and what the problem even is. So that's the first important point. The second one is a clear ROI. Customers or founders, these founders can calculate exactly how much money the solution will save them. So that's a very important thing to know when building a solution to a problem. And the third thing is they solve existing problems. They are not creating new behaviors. They are making existing processes faster and less painful. Here's how I evaluate any AI says. Can they explain the problem without mentioning AI? Because if they lead with technology and AI and the tech hype instead of the problem, that's a red flag. The second one is, do the founders have industry experience? I want someone who's worked in the industry for at least a few years. It's not a must, but I think that's a huge advantage. Another point is, can customers calculate the ROI? So it saves time or it saves headage. It's not good enough. How much time? What's the dollar impact? I want to know. And the last point is, would this solution work without AI? Because sometimes the best AI product could work with regular old school automation. AI just makes them better, but not, not possible. The AI bubble isn't about the technology. The tech is real, AI is real, I'm not stupid, I'm not denying it. 
AI will change everything. But the bubble is about people building solutions without understanding the problems. So don't build just an AI company. Build a company that uses AI to solve real problems in industries you actually understand. You or a co-founder or a partner or whoever. So what do you think? Are you seeing the same patterns? Let me know in the comments. And this is my first real video. So it would be very, very, very helpful if you subscribe to this channel for more insights on building products that actually work and are profitable. Thank you.